week 18 test so it's quite easy I'll just go through some of the ones that might be a bit more difficult so number one a bag holds two red balls four green balls and six blue balls what is the chance of picking a green ball so you need to find out how many balls there are all together how many green balls and then it's a four in something chance Break it down then, if you can, to its lowest term. You had it during the week in Master Maths. Number two, round 0 0.748 to the nearest tenth. So the nearest tenth is the one place after the decimal point. So you just want it to be 0 point something. Number three, again, you had it yesterday. One fifth is greater than a quarter, true or false. So if you get them with the same common denominator, it'll be easier to clarify which is bigger. Number four, same as yesterday again, 0 0.7 multiplied by 0 0.9. Just make sure you have two decimal places in your answer. Number five, find the perimeter of this shape. So the perimeter is as if you're putting up a fence all around. So you need all sides. So you need to find the length of this side and this side before you can add all of the sides together. Number six, what decimal fraction is 62%? So all you're doing is changing 62% into a decimal. Number seven, what is half of one eighth? So you know of is the same as multiply. So one half multiply by one eighth. For 8, 7.4 plus x equals to 10. So what is x? So to get x, do a subtraction sum, 10.00 minus 7.4. Or do it in your head if you can. 9, 7 and 6 eighths plus 1 eighth. Very easy. Add the whole numbers first. And then add the fractions. Number 10. Measure this line. You need a ruler. 11, very straightforward, 12, the area of a square is 25 centimetres squared. What is the perimeter? So you know to get the area of a square, you multiply the length by the width. You also know a square, all its sides are equal. So the same number multiplied by itself gives you 25. So when you figure that out, you'll be able to add all the sides because all the sides of a square are the same. How many sides is a decagon? Again, the clue is in the name. De or decagon. 14, simplify it, so put it in its lowest terms. So what goes into 21? What goes into 30? Break it down that way. Number 15. 3x plus 10 equals to 40. So what is x? So we've come across this a good few times by now. So 3 times something. So 3 multiplied by something plus 10 equals 40. 16. What is the total bill for 500 grams of peas at 350 a kilogram? So you need to find out how many grams are in a kilogram. And you just want to know then how many 500 grams is. 17, the LCM, hopefully at this stage you know its lowest common multiple. So what number do 6 and 8 both go into, but the lowest number they both go into? So for example, if you multiply 8 by 6, it's 48. They both go into 48, but there is a lower number than that that 6 goes into and 8 goes into. And 18, 19, again just in 18, make sure you have three decimal places in your answer. 19, what do the angles in a quadrilateral add up to? Hopefully you know that. If you don't, go back through your master your maths because it has come up before. And number 20, write 8 over 1,000 as a decimal fraction. So there are three zeros in 1,000. So there needs to be three decimal places in your answer. So 0 point something, something, something.